Boom. Do 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 do. Let me mute myself so no one hears me double. Do 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 do. Alright. Got chat on the bottom of my screen. OBS was not behaving at all today. OBS was like, I'm gonna make sure this is connecting to the Facebook Live servers okay, because it kept giving me a, a retry and another retry and another retry. And then I mucked with the settings for a few seconds and did not much of anything and now it works. So, all right, hey everybody. How's everybody doing? Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have as exciting a break as Jot Jot did yesterday with the two layers in one break. That was amazing, by the way. Had to outdo me, I got the two layers in like three weeks. You get two in one day, man, holy crap. Uh, all right, I got some mail to open, and then in my random eBay box buying, I got this doot 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 UK Perspectives and Chrome TFA. These were like 40-something dollars, and I wanted to see if I could keep the bot, the eBay box streak open. So let me open my first piece of, first, first piece of mail week. I didn't get as much because I didn't save up like two weeks this time. So I got a few things. Then we'll get to some boxes. So, all right, what do we got here? Oh, cool, 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 cool. Let me open these up. A couple autos I was missing that I wanted from Woman of Star Wars set that I was not able to get on my own. So we got Sarah. This game was awesome, by the way, everybody. If you haven't played the game... It's a little like Dark Souls. It's not an easy game. It's not like a game you're going to plow through and be like... It's not, um, you know, the older Jedi games that had come out. So good, though. I'm on my second run-through right now. I didn't have this one. I'm not a huge Resistance fan. I'm going to give it another shot, right? I'm hearing y'all, the fans talk about it. I got through Season 1. I have not gotten through Season 2. I'm going to keep trying, though. And Duchess Satine. I wanted a Satine because uh, I'm in a Clone Wars mood with Clone Wars ending... So there's first three of mail call. Next is from the, uh, from, here you go. Well, I don't have the, it's from Jonathan Bas Baseline. I think I'm saying it right. I've heard his name said a bunch of times now and I keep trying to make sure I get it right. I won this. This was a, this was a prize uh, for watching one, of, for being in participating in one of the uh, workshops. So super excited. I got a couple of things from the con over the last couple days. One has a pretty good story of how I actually even even got it. But uh, I got my a card that I had ordered from Candace Daly and it got delivered to the wrong place in my complex. So that was a harrowing moment. Uh, but okay, so we got, this was a piece of art that I won for uh, hanging out. Again, thanks again for the, the, uh, the virtual con. It was awesome. I'm already, like, super psyched for the next one. Oh, my gosh. Opening. He packs very, very well. Jonathan, thank you very much. I appreciate you sending... Ooh, he actually he put it in, in boards? I thought he meant cardboard. Now, here's some packing, man. This is, like, board board. This is, like, the stuff wrestlers used to crank over their, each other's heads back in the old days. All right. All right, we got tape. Come on, tape. Let's go, let's go tape. Uh, let's see, let me... <laughs> be so packed. Alright, let's, uh, let's see if we can't get this open. Do, 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 How's everybody doing this weekend? If there are any moms out there, happy Mother's Day. Hope everybody's doing well, staying sane, not going out any more than you need to. And I figure we'll open cards online with each other. Un well, <laughs> you know what? As part of one reason I started, I'm like, you know what? This will be cool during this, during a quarantine and everything. But I'm going to be doing this for, for good now. So, all right, let's take a look. Oh, man, my camera. I got to I gotta angle up a little bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> take a look at that. 
There's some original art. Awesome. I think uh, this is who um, Tyler was calling Alien or Cantina Alien or something. Oh, wow. My, uh, am I dropping frames? No, it's not that bad. Awesome. Jonathan, thank you so much. Let me see if I can get this nice and focused in. Do, 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 do. Awesome. That is great. I don't have a lot of, like, I don't have, like, any original art, right? Like, aside from all of my sketch cards. So having, like, a non-sketch card size thing is pretty awesome, too. Um, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And I'm going to put this off to the side so that I don't crump it or something. All right. Next up. Next up. I forgot what this is. We got another package. I can't really remember exactly what this was. There's probably something Jin Urso or Captain slash Admiral Piet related in here, is my guess, because I was on a kick of, of building up those collections a little bit the last week. So let's see what we got here. Oh, this is interesting. Packing method. I don't think I've seen these used before. Someone put them in. This is cool, though. Hey, it works, right? As long as it arrives safe. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's see what we got in here. Do, 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 Ooh, wow, well, this is, this is very... Oh, this is an Admiral Piet. Oh, yes. This is actually a super cool one. This is, this is really neat. Um, this cost me a little more than I was planning on spending last week, but I saw this. Kind of had to have it. It's a one... I'm going to open it up, take it out of its little cocoon. Out of your card cocoon. Uh, it's a one out of five. Sugar-free Admiral Piet. So this is a really cool... Now I'm on the... Hey, hey, Josh, what's up? I'll just call you Jay as well. We'll both be Jays. Cool, cool. So yeah, there's my Ken Kali. I'm psyched. I didn't... Uh, I saw the Ken Kali out of five in the draft, the Masterwork draft, but I had to take... You know, there was no way I wasn't taking one of those sketches, so... Yes, this is cool. I had not seen three gold auto and not tell me this was this was uh, eBay, and this is going into my into my Admiral Piet collection, right there. All right, I got two more things. I'm gonna save save my last. This is from Broderick, I believe. This is a couple of breaks worth of stuff. Um, uh, obviously, it's gonna have a uh, authentics something or other in it, given the size of the box. The entire group used to call me Jay until you popped up. Oh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all my fault. I know. We can both be... There are multiple Jays in the world. It's okay. <laughs> ah! Man, congrats again on your uh, break yesterday, man. That was exciting. That was super exciting to watch. Like, when you... The first layer was, was good enough, right? It was like... Awesome, that was great. When, when you had the out of 50, my first thought was like, oh, what's it going to be, right? You know, it's going to be, maybe he got another Yaddle, right? And then when you pulled it down, as soon as I saw the hair, because I, like, just did the same thing, I'm like, oh, my God. That was legendary, I think, is the word. We got, we got packing fluffy things. All right, awesome packing, as usual, by Broderick. Do, 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 yeah, right. Seems to be the one for me now. Cha cha. It's a cool, uh. That's a cool name to say, too. Alright, let's see. We got first thing from the break. This was. I think I had first pick in Woman of Star Wars break with Broderick, and I got this Andrew Fry Ray sketch. This is the only Andrew Fry Ray sketch I've got. I've got a few of his now. I was. I was like, I couldn't believe I turned away a, uh, an Andrew Fry Jin or so, because I collect a lot of Jin stuff. Uh, but I had just bought another another sketch yesterday of Jin, uh, and I had to get that pano. But yeah, this is great. I um, I really like Andrew Fry stuff, so I picked this. This was first pick, first pick Andrew Fry. All right, next was let's see. Oh, this was the card that I picked from Authentics. It's uh, out of twenty five. Snap Wexley and the big thing that was on the ship. And I don't remember what that character's name is. Yeah, man, that, that break was nuts. You got all good other good stuff, too. That's the best part, is, like, the entire break, you were just like, and here's another great sketch. 
And here's another great sketch. Here's another great sketch. It was like, oh my god. Yeah, you hit it. You hit it good. Do, 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 do. All right, let me open this. I think there's a couple other cards. There's some other hits in here, if I'm remembering correctly. A piano, no chance I would have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> When I saw the when I saw you know the 101 obviously is like a dream card for me being a Rogue One fan, but then when I saw the Jin sketch I was like okay, all right that's cool. I'll, the Jin sketch is a nice consolation prize. Then I saw the Pano and was like well, this is all this is I didn't have. This is an out of 25, 12 out of 25. I did not, I did not have one of hers before this. Oh this is this sketch was cool. I like this a lot. Sketch artist is. Anthony Scubis or Scubis. I like this scene. I'm a big fan of anything in the movies. Anything in the movies that, um, I guess I got oranges in that. Yeah, cool, cool. I'm a big fan of anything in the movies that have, like, stuff from the original trilogy. Like, I'm a total sucker for all of those bits in Rise of Skywalker. Where there's the Death Star, the Jet, all of it. I'm... That 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 type of uh, of fan service, I am like they can give me all of it. Are you collecting Piet in general? Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of Admiral Piet stuff. Um, he was one of the first that I met even at a, a Wizard World back in I think it was '99. I got uh, I got Ken Colley's autograph. He didn't have a handler or anything. He didn't have like the person to give money, so I just walked up to him. And it was kind of funny, because I told him the whole story. I'm like, dude, when I was a kid, and I heard your name in the movie, and da-da-da. And he just looks at me and goes, ah, so you have the same name as me or my character? And I'm like, your character. And he just looks at me and goes, well, how nice for you. <laughs> and I couldn't tell to this day whether he was being, like, super sarcastic or <laughs> probably a combination of both. All right, I got, this is my Authentics 11 by 14, I think. And I went with, I'm going to show this on this other camera. I went with Ben Burt. I think I had like six, six pick or something like that. And uh, seeing Ben Burt in a character, which I didn't know that was Ben Burt. That's a Star Wars little tidbit I didn't have in me. Uh, but yeah, to have Ben Burt's auto on, on the character is freaking awesome. Like, I'm so shocked this went. I know this probably isn't the most expensive auto, but for me it's pretty special to have, so... Very psyched about having Ben Burt. What's the difference? So, Evan, I've been trying to figure that out. I know the autos are different. I think the autos... The autos are all sticker. And I can't remember if um, if the cards are any different. I kind of wanted to be... I, I, it was hard to find that much info. I figure we'll... I, and I couldn't tell if like the anything in the set was that different. I know the hits are handled different, and it's like a $40 box, because I think there's, like, a chance you get a medallion and nothing else. So I know the hits work a little different. All right. This is the package from Candice Daily. Woohoo! It doesn't have the chrome finish, auto, or stickers. Oh, okay, so they are different. Maybe I need a little set of that. So this is from Candice. Awesome. Can't wait. This is the package. So this package... Ended up at the wrong place. I live in a, in a complex around, uh, like, with apartments, townhouses, that kind of thing. And a dude up the road got it. And he messaged me on LinkedIn, of all places. And I thought it was a scam. So I get this message on LinkedIn that's like, Hey, are you so-and-so? If you give me your address, I'll bring you your mail. And I'm like, wait a minute. So I Googled the guy. It turned out he's, like, one number off on my complex. So... Turned out it was just a dude trying to get me my mail back. And when he gave it to me and I saw it was from Candace Daly, I was like, oh my god, dude, and I thanked him. I'm like, you just, that, I would have been, it would have been awful if this had gotten lost. Yeah, I thanked him profusely. Like, I was like, it's nice to know there's good people. Like, I tried to basically positively reinforce. Ah, uh, oh, yes. And she even put it in a one-touch. Oh, and a taped-up one-touch. Check this out. This is the card I bought, and it's the armorer for Mandalorian, like any of you don't know that. Oh, yeah, this is great. 
was the event that was auctioned off. Uh, yeah, I was the only bidder. Jot, jot, I was it. I think I was the one that I bid $45 to be the only bidder and then won. I think it was that deal. So I, I got it just for, I think it was 45 Yeah, this is great. This is, the funny thing with this card is, so, when the, um... When the when the thing was starting and everybody and everybody was uh, everybody was like posting their booths, I had the I was like, all right, don't buy the first thing you see, right? There's gonna be a lot of people, there's gonna be thirty or forty artists. Don't just buy the first thing you see and spend all your money in the first like twenty minutes. And then the first thing I do when I go look is I see Candace post hers and I see the picture of the armor. It like jumped out at me and I wanted this exact character. So Candace Daly, thank you very much. This is oh, this is another. You know, Tyler's always like, they don't, the cards don't, like, do justice until you see them in person. Holy crap, this is great. I'm so psyched I bought this. Candace, thank you so much. That's going to have a special place in the collection. Ooh! And a print of Vader. Nice! Awesome. That is so great. Oh, she got her card on the back. Boom. Candace Daly, thank you so much. Take a look at that. Another look at the armor. Uh, I want a whole set of Mandalorian cards. Um, when the Mando, when the Mando set comes out, when the Mando set comes out, that may be my first foray into buying a case. It it might be. I haven't bought a full case yet. Like when I first joined this group, maybe four years, three years ago or something. Like, buying boxes was a huge deal. Now I'm like, maybe I'll get a case. Y'all are a bad influence. Oh, hey, Candace. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks for the print. And thanks for the card. This is great. This is going to be um, part of my... I got a little display up. Well, you can't see, but over that way. And there's one that's going to be all Mandalorian stuff. Cara Dune is well represented now. But I do not have an armor. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's open a couple boxes. I'm going to save perspectives for for last because this is kind of cool. Um, yeah, and check out Candace's stuff. Great artist. It was awesome getting to get to know some about you, all you guys at the con. That was great. I can't wait till we do it again. And I'm glad we will not need another global pandemic to do so. All right, let's open some cards. I don't expect much out of either of these boxes, right? That's kind of how I go into all of these random eBay boxes is, you know, I got a Leia last time, but that was weird. That's not what I expect every time to happen. So, all right, I think there's like one hit in here. So, the signers list is revealed. Yeah, oh, I got burnt by Solo too. I had like three or four boxes because I, I really enjoyed Solo. Um, and then the, the signer. I did get a Junus in one of those boxes. I got a out of 50, or no, or an out of 99. So, I at least got... The good, uh, the good signer. <laughs> the best one, rather. Some of them were cool. One of them, like, um, there were a few from England. One guy that was on The Young Ones, Adrian uh, something. I, can add some, I can't remember his last name for some reason. All right. And this set I do not have, so I'm trying to just make a set of this. Like every main actor. Like, none of them did Evan. Base, base. We got Ping's girl right there. We got a ship, and I believe another base. This is going to be tough for me to tell which are not base and which are. Do, 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 do. So yeah, like no, none of the, um, did you grab it from the guy who still has more left for around? It was, yeah, I think it was 95 shipped. Um, I can look for the seller if you want to see, because I know, right? Like if that layer was in there, who knows what else is in there? I, I save those sellers, though, because if I get a huge hit out of an eBay box, I know that they're, they must be pretty honest because they didn't, like, there was no, sh no chica if they are doing chicanery, then they failed. <laughs> and we got a behind the scenes. Do, 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 do. Let me take a, a second and I'll tell you which seller that was. The greedy Unkar plot. Let me move this down a little bit. Do, do, do. And I'm on a Chrome card kick now, just because. I now get it. Oh, here's a, a, a something. 
out of 99. Out of 99, Finn and Ray United. Do -do 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 -do. I should put sleeves on these just to be. Just to be a good person. Do -do -do -do. Uh, let me see who that seller was. Because I know I see what I know what you're getting at with the let's see. Do 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 There's so much glare coming off that box. Uh let's see. Chrome. Let's search for chrome. Uh it was bought by it was eighty four ninety nine, five ninety nine shipping. Yeah, John, just, <laughs> you just basically do the cast list, start at the beginning. All those people were missing. Uh, the seller was Comic Book University. It was the seller I got. So, if you want to know. Do, 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 leading Poe to Freedom. Oh, so you're not supposed to say anything? I'm sorry. I didn't know that was a thing we're not supposed to do. Oops. <laughs> I won't do that again. I'm separating refractors now. Oh, or, or if it's like, uh, or you don't want me to give away who's uh, who you're getting from. Is that a rule? <laughs> I don't want to break any rules, man. I thought I read through everything. Or we just don't want to give away secrets. <laughs> Yeah, I figure it's a different, uh, yeah, the letdown, it was, Solo was a big letdown. Um, like, usually there's at least, like, Chewy was the big card. If you got Chewy, you pretty much, like, you made out. Ooh, we got a, something refractory. Is this the, oh, I thought it was something else. But hey, that's cool. Out of 50. Out of 50, we got a Chewbacca. Do 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 do, out of fifty. <laughs> uh, yeah, I always wonder, like, when I do get, if I do get, like, a good box on eBay, what are they? I was just trying to be so. <laughs> okay, cool. That's what I figured. After a second, I'm like, oh, he just doesn't want me to say. <laughs> oh, I think we have an auto. I think that's an auto I see coming. Finn in charge. All right. Let's see who we got. Oh, we got Tito. <laughs> see, this is kind of more what I was expecting. Out of 99. So I got a Tito. Hey, Tito, what's up, man? We'll put Tito in a sleeve. If anyone's a big Tito fan, hey, I got good news. I don't have that one, so at least there's that. Tito. <laughs> but yeah, man, the solo set, that was a dog. People people rioted when that list came out. I remember a few people from the group basically saying, like, sending notes to Tops, and were like, this is this is why I'm not gonna buy anymore. And people people were mad. I was too. I just kind of, that was my first, it, that was kind of my first experience of pre-buying boxes and having like a kind of lousy, uh, having a kind of lousy, like, like a very, very under, underwhelming signer list where you're just like, wait a minute, I'm usually happy with most signers I get, if I, you know. Let's write into the one box, he opened, he pulled the car. Oh yeah, yeah. That was uh that was uh, last last week Evan I opened I bought one Chrome Perspective box off eBay to try to finish a base set and ended up pulling pulling royalty and then Jaja out here yesterday with the two I had some of your like I can't imagine like I know I was on the adrenaline rush from one Fisher for like a day and a half I caught some of it just watching you I was like I was I was all excited too. Just to just to watch that. Jess Pava and a refractor. I don't think I missed any refractors. I'm bad at catching refractors. 
I have a hard time seeing whatever whatever makes them refractory. I have a hard time of seeing the base ones. With a huge letdown. Yeah. Yeah, I know after solo I didn't buy I didn't buy boxes for a little while because I was a lot more just a lot more cautious. Looks like we could have some good sets. So I'm worried about, you know, with the pandemic, how who could sign. Oh, that's cool. Planning aboard the Falcon. And another refractor. But I'm hoping for, hopeful for Mandalorian, man. It's gonna be my first case. I, I I think it will be. I think it's gonna be the first case, depending on you know if it turns out to be super expensive boxes or something. But I've I've been wanting to do one for a while, and there's been you know I'm like I'm gonna wait for something I really want a case of, and Mandalorian would be would definitely be it. And another refractor. Let me move some of these base cards over. All right, forced to surrender. Han and Leia say goodbye. Oh, Han and Leia. Some of the, some of the things they could have done in the new trilogy. That's one of the only things. Like I liked the new trilogy. I enjoyed it, but I do wish that they, uh, there were some moments they could have done different. That's one of them. I would love to see all three of them on screen. I mean, I was kind of hoping to pull a big one with the second one. Oh, yeah, the second one. Plus, you were kind of at the end, right? So it was like, you know, things were winding down, you know. And then, boom. <laughs> Can you pull another? That was so good. That won't, I don't know. Do you think we'll ever see that again? Someone pulls two. And I think the thing, too, like the on-card part about it, right? Two on-card fishers in the same half case breaks. That's. The odds. The, uh, the odds are insane. <laughs> Jump to light speed, piloting the Falcon. Finn fires back. Poe Dameron. And another refractor. I'll tell you this, though, now that uh, Rise of Skywalker is on digital. Um, I am... The more I, li the more I watch Rise of Skywalker, the more I like it. Ooh, my internet connection is, like, sucking wind right now. Come on, Internet. Come on, Internet. You can do it. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm liking uh, Rise of Skywalker more every time I see it. I think because I'm not, I'm past the point of Star Wars level nitpicking it. I'm still nitpicking it because as a Star Wars fan, you, you just can't help it. Like, that's what we do. Um, but I'm more like... That's my go-to to put on on the back in the background. Like I just sat and watched all of Rise of Skywalker, and now that I'm not worried about how it ties into everything, it's like it's a cool adventure that they go on. It really is. Uh, if you can take, you know, I, I I I'm enjoying it. It's like a video game, but I like video games, so that makes sense. And another refractor. Someone did. Oh, really? Out of the same case of Chrome Perspectives? I've only ever seen... Was that Kai did that? Or... I know I saw one pulled in a... Uh, I was in a break of Chrome Perspectives that Jason Willis did. And I was... I was pick one in, like, the other case. It was like what happened to you in, um, in the Sam Jackson deal. And it was not that it was picking... I think it was, like, a couple... Like, a day later. He was like, oh, one case happens to be late. And if it had been reversed, I would have been that pick. That's how. I, that's what I thought of when you when you didn't get the Sam Jackson. I was like, oh, that's like when I didn't get that carry. Or like when I was bot number two for a one of one gin and Krennic. Ah! I can't complain because I got a freaking great pano, right? I am not complaining. The pano is amazing. And, it, and in person, I can't even wait to see it. But, as a, uh, he was opening them for you? Oh my god, <laughs> that's, a, that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Got a lot of Leia luck, Princess Leia luck in this group, especially in this last month. Kylo, Doom, and we've got another ship. Refractor, alright, we're almost done with this box. We've got about four more packs. And then... So you've done this technically twice. Holy mackerel. Okay. I guess it can happen again. <laughs> Never tell Jot Jot the odds. Holy mackerel. Circus is snow. Oh, I like that. 
You can see my mic. There's my microphone. Woo! Circus is leader Snoke. I still don't have a circus auto. At some point, I gotta get one of those. I know Snoke kind of turned out to be meh, but I thought Snoke was Plagueis after First Force Awakens. I was telling anyone who would listen to me about why he was Darth Plagueis the Wise. And Ray on her speeder refractor. All right, two more packs. And then we'll open UK Perspectives. And now that I know that they don't have a gloss and are different, I'm probably going to have to get a set of that. So that's cool. That'll give me another set to chase. Okay, and last pack. After our epic hit of a Tito Auto. Ray's Awakening trapped by Kylo Ren. Uh, digital trading card. I used to do Star Wars Card Trader. That's what got me back into physical cards was Card Trader. I, I did that app for about a year and I started spending money on it. And I noticed I was in the Black Sun Cantina and a couple other groups. And I noticed a lot of people being like, you know what? I'm going to spend my money on actual physical things. I'm out of here and kind of sold off their collection. And uh, that's how I ended up in this group is some people that left there. Broderick may, I don't remember who, but it may, like I remember there was some mass exoduses and I ended up joining this group out of that. And that's when I was like, maybe I'll go back to physical cards and never look back. Some of them were such good ideas. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Do, 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 do. All right, let's open some more cards. Let's open some perspectives. Oh, look at these little, this is a cute little box. Yeah. Who's an adorable box? These have like, so the way these are configured, there's one hit per box. Look out for helmet plate medallion, autograph, or printing plate. So I'm either going to get an auto, a helmet medallion, that's probably what we're getting, or a printing plate. I'll be out of the comments, but I'll have the stream. All right, cool, cool, thanks. Thanks for the luck. There are six cards in each. Hold on, let me make some room. All right. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's open these. I've certainly never opened a box of... Perspectives UK. All right, first we've got. Oh, and they are. Yeah, they're not. Um, they're not really chromy. We've got Phil Mc. <laughs> Ralph McQuarrie. Why is it? Oh, they 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 got his character name. I'm like, why is he got a different name? Oh, cool. They've got. This is weird. They've got the. So they got the card number. In the corner. Imperial Foot Soldiers. Disposable. We got Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hero. Tarkin. And... An R2 insert. Alright, this is neat. Yeah, these are definitely different. Oh. Uh-oh. I think I got my, uh... Just hopefully no printing... Oh, alright. These were two packs. This hopefully no printing plate redemption. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. All right. Yeah, I knew I knew I was taking somewhat of a of a risk here buying this box, but I didn't realize all that. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Thanks for the notes, though. If it's an auto, you will still get the medallion. Okay. Bail Organa. Oh, see, these are cool pictures. That's a different picture. Oh, Ramus Antilles. So now I gotta get the whole set of this. Crix Maydeen. Admiral Ozel. And a Rebel Training Car. The Admiral Ozel looks like it's. Alright, so this one. This one's definitely shiny. And this one's not. This isn't numbered though, so I imagine this is just a parallel of some sort. Do, 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 do. All right, let's keep going. These are cool. I, I'm I'm glad I've got the, the. I'm glad I took a leap and got a box of these. Uh, Cyward Cass, C 
see? Like, I didn't know that was that dude's name. Actually, you know what? I do recognize that name. It's got to be in a novel or something. We've got a parallel of good old Biggs Darklighter from the deleted scene that I, and as a kid, did not understand. Oh, the packs are a little stuck together. <laughs> there you go. Face Refractor. Got it. Another Admiral Ozzel, R2-D2. Oh, this has got to be another. Oh, this is the dude from, uh, he was also in the uh, Millennium Falcon with Nine Num and Lando, I believe. I think that's that guy. We've got Luke. Oh, and the card stuck to Luke is the parallel of Mon Mothma. And another Mon Mothma card. I've been mothma guys. i got... Hardcore Mothmid. I got a Mothma sketch coming, though. That is badass. Borsk Fela. Oh, cool, cool. What is... Nice. That's a cool card. See, there's nothing like that in the U.S. version where you got, like, things from a, car from a comic or a cartoon or Expanded Universe. Willif Yolren. Nice. That, see, that's a cool, look at that. That's neat. Oh, uh, this is cool. All right, I'm glad I got this set. I need a set of this now. Galen Merrick from the good old video game. Awesome. So I like these cards. I'm going to end up getting, I'm going to see if there's any more of these. Try to get at least a full set. All right. And don't forget the big hit of the day, Tito, out of 99. We got Emperor Palpatine Ramus. We've got a kind of animated Zuckus or 4LOM, depending on what era of toys you came from. For me, I have a hard time calling this dude Zuckus and the other one 4LOM just because of the way the toys came out when I was a kid. I'm always going to have a hard time with that. Oh, is this another. Oh, I think I got a... an auto or something. Let's wait till my stream clears up. Come on, stream. I may have some base card dupes from this at DME. All right, cool, cool. I'm waiting to see if my video is going to clear up. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, my internet is not liking streaming this last few weeks. I imagine my internet in my um, community area here is getting really slammed. So... I'm going to wait a sec. I'm going to open up a couple other packs before going to whatever the hit is. Because I think there's a hit right there. I believe so. Uh, let's see. Oh, and here's my... Mo'ozel. Here is... Hit number one. We've got a TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet. That's kind of cool. I had to touch it. I like the coins, though, of the US one better. Officially, I like the coins. Big fan of the coins. All right, let's take a look at the hit here before my internet goes kerplooey. Oops. And we've got John Brannon auto. I'm just psyched I got an auto out of this. <laughs> and a sticker. John D. Brannon from Across the Pond. So yeah, definitely different than the ones we got here in the U.S. This is cool. I'm glad I got an auto out of this. I really wanted, uh, I really wanted to get one of the U.K. autos. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. That, that made, that makes me pleased. And we've got another... Cool, cool. It's the same medallion, just with the chrome. The coins are... Oh, okay. Right, right. I'm mixing up my my uh, my perspective sets. Han Solo. But yeah, I do like the coins better. I, I thought... I've always liked the look of those cards, too. Another one from Cass. So that's the thing. I have not opened... 
This is this is the first box of this set of perspectives I've ever opened. I haven't opened the old ones, uh, the ones before Jedi versus Sith. So that's kind of next on my when I when I do want to spend some money on some pricier older boxes, I may get some of that. Hey, and there's Firmus Piet. How's it going there, buddy? Parallel Lando in Rebel Training. Woo! Teaching you how to kill a TIE Bomber. Awesome. I was, I never, I, I was always like, I always shied away from Chrome cards because they were always like, I don't know, they were either harder to get, generally more expensive, and now I'm just kind of all about Chrome stuff. I think they're really cool. I also want to go into, I'm going to start in the next couple weeks, I want to complete some of the Wide Vision sets. Watching some of y'all do your Wide Vision openings has gotten me to like, ooh, there's a lot of cool Wide Vision sets that another Piet, I'll take all the Piets I can get, Admiral Motti, and another Piet card. I don't think I have a couple of those. I don't have several of those, so this will be good for the Piet collection too. We've got the Emperor, we've got Mr. Fett, Yoda, another Boba Fett, oh, the other Boba Fett, and we've got a Parallel Palps, and Han Solo Wanted. That's it, I haven't even, I haven't even looked at the Perspective set before. I know of it, and I have, like, some Parallels that I bought on eBay. Um, some of the like the crew pictures that I, some of the crew cards that that I, they were in character, but I thought those were neat. I gotta like, make my way to that. Four Lom, four L O M, A K A Zuckus from the Kenner Star Wars figures. Oh, this is the other dude. This is the dude from um, Return of the Jedi Falcon that was in the back and never got any screen time. I don't think, or at least like he got second. Moff Jerjerod, Wedge Antilles. This is a cool wedge. I like that. So that's really neat. I don't know if these are the same. Are these the same exact photos? I could look. I'll look after. But if anyone just happens to know. Don't worry. I do look up. That's one of the cool things about this hobby. Is there's always more to go figure out and learn and research. And like. I'll be sitting bored in a waiting room. And be like. Oh I'm going to see what autos of this person go for. And, have, and you just all of a sudden can learn new things. It's so good. Gial Akbar. That name. Captain Antilles. And another Tarkin. Come on, packs. Don't all stick together. We've got about six or seven more packs. I'll go do I'll do a recap because I always seem to forget doing recaps. This is only my third video though, so if I if I you know, <laughs> if I forget something, that's why. We've got, ooh, Bast, cool, cool. Moradman Bast. That's a cool, that's a good name. That's a very imperial name. Hello, Bast. I thought people from England were, 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 all, were all evil, like, for some years, right? Just because of Star Wars. It wasn't until I was probably... I don't know, eight or nine, I think I met a fair family friend that had a British accent, and I was like, wah! You know, like, just a little, ner like, a little nervous. And then they, you know. <laughs> it was Star Wars' fault, and I was a little kid. That's what, I, that's what I'm going with. And then I ended up, I've been to the UK. I, I've done study abroad in Bath, England. I love, I love the UK. I think it's great. I've been there in a long time, but... I actually went there right around the time that Phantom Menace came out. I remember seeing uh, Natalie Portman, Ewan McGregor. I think that might have been it. I think it was at least those two. They were on The Big Breakfast when I was there. Good old Macquarie. Yeah, I like that he's got a card. General Tag, Akbar, Borsk. So I gotta learn more about the original perspective set because I don't know who's in it. That's what makes it cool. <laughs> I love opening sets when you have like very little idea what is in them. That's why I want to do some wide vision. I ordered some blaster boxes. I found some super cheap um, Revenge of the Sith and 
What was the other one I got? A 40th anniversary blaster box, which I will get nothing hitwise out of, but it'll be fun to open. Jan Dodonna. And we've got a parallel of Wolf. Do, 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 do. So I kind of got two hits. I did it. I did technically beat the odds. Because I read that there are a lot of people did not get autos in these boxes. So I feel like... I, did not, I didn't get any... I didn't get a carry. But you know what? They can't all be Fisher Breaks, right? <laughs> me and the me and Josh outs of the world will, will sometimes have to suffer with a, a base auto. Now, I'll probably, I think it was uh, Ken, maybe. Someone was like, I was like, I'll be lucky if I ever get a hit again. It's like, you'll be lucky if you get packs with cards in them again. Good point. Another. Got some good inserts, too. This is cool. I'll finish this set eventually. Um, I have to slow down over the next couple weeks. I have spent a decent amount of what I put, what I... I don't want to say I have a budget, but what I kind of have is my round number. I've already already hit there for the last couple of weeks. But I wanted to buy stuff at the con, the virtual con. It's too much good stuff. And Zuckus. And another parallel. Got a few more packs. Hope you all have a good rest of your weekend. Hope if you're celebrating Mother's Day, it goes well. If you're not, then hope it goes well. Anyway, Dengar. Dengar, by the way, is apparently in Rise of Skywalker, but he looks all messed up. Oh, there's the Imperial Dignitary from uh, Rogue One. Vane. I remember when pictures of that scene came out, and I was convinced we were going to see Darth Vader just kind of hanging out and talking in his Bacta tank, but... It wasn't meant to be. It's probably better that they didn't. Oh, that's cool. General Veers. General Veers. There's another Dengar. Who is... You could look it up. It's one of those things that just... It's in the visual guide. And people put two and two together. I guess his last name is like Deng or something. And then Lucasfilm it kind of admitted that it's Dengar. But, but after getting all sorts of like robot limbs and stuff. Oh, nice. Cool, Thrawn. I'm a big fan of that card. We got a Chewie. Don't be a Sarlacc. Keep your big trap shut. <laughs> Some of these cards look like they have a little bit of treatment on them, but most of them seem uh, more basey, more like not chrome. You can tell, I think they were kind of confused. They weren't sure what they were going to do. <laughs> they just did. We got another Java. Last parallel is going to be. Oh, is this expanding universe, dude? Graham Bell Iblis. Oh, okay. Cool. Another parallel. And the circle is almost complete. Get us back on schedule. <laughs> that is cool. Alright, cool. There you go. UK perspectives in the bank, as well as Chrome. I will do a quick recap. These are the cards I actually pulled. Jack Claff as John D. Brandon with the on sticker. Well, yeah, of course it's on sticker. Sticker auto. Congratulations to me. We got, well, we also got the, uh, the helmet TIE Fighter pilot. We got uh, out of 99, 57 out of 99, Tito auto from the, the other box, the, the TFA Chrome. Chewbacca out of 50. Any Chewbacca fans want that? Hit me up. We got out of 99. Finn and Ray reunited. Candace Daly's AP that I got this week. Woo! The armor. That is awesome. I'm going to keep smiling every time I see that. Uh, that's a great card. Uh, these, are, these are now the stuff from mail, mail day slash week. We've got a cool sketch of the downed Adat, Anthony Scubis. We've got, let's see, an out of 25, Kate Fleetwood. 
which I did not have. Uh, let's see. Oh, this was a parallel, wasn't it? What was this one? Oh, out of 99. Uh, Poe. Sarko Plank. Base. Out of 25. Snap. We've got the Andrew Fry Ray Sketch, which is awesome. I kind of want to put these two. Hey, Ray. I'm an armorer. How's it going? They'd, be, they'd probably get along, all right? Ray's probably a little too optimistic, but I think they, they in the end, they'd be okay. We've got Ken Colley out of five. One out of five. This will be a nice addition to the Admiral Piet stuff. We've got Duchess Satine out of 50. Auto. San from Resistance out of 99. And Deborah Wilson as Sierra Junda from... Fall in order, which I am playing through again. So thanks, everybody. I will see you all next time. And of course, may the force be with you. Ooh, later.